happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Shayla. When the morning coffee hits, am I right? There's nothing I love more than my morning coffee. It is such a rainy and gloomy day here in New York City, which makes me feel way less guilty. Not that I did feel guilty, but way less guilty about doing that pool day where I last left off the vlog with you in my last vlog. After living in New York City for over a year, I've learned my lesson, which is that the weather changes quite frequently here and you have to take advantage of beautiful weather days. And you have to do so unapologetically, especially this year because I feel like they are few and far between. I thought for this vlog, I would do a little weekend in my life vlog. I have some fun things planned, although I had kind of hoped the weather would be nicer today. So I don't know how exciting today is gonna be. But I checked the weather app and it's supposed to be a little bit nicer weather Saturday and Sunday. So hopefully my plans will still pan out, if you will. The last time we spoke, I was trying to get back into my healthy routine. And I am proud to say that this past week, I really focused on that and I've been feeling so good. I've been meditating every morning, got on my yoga mat three times this week, went to two workout classes. I did run a mile on Tuesday on the treadmill because it was really hot outside, but I've just been feeling so good. I've been eating healthy and getting in bed at a decent hour and also getting my work done. And I feel like it's just been a really balanced week. And with a little reflection, I realized all it takes is intention. Well, also commitment as well, because even like this morning, I woke up, meditated in bed, looked outside, pouring rain. And the last thing I wanted to do, to be honest with you, was go to yoga because I went to Barry's yesterday, which is a high intensity interval training class. And then I went to Rise Nation the day before and my body was just so sore today, especially with the cold, rainy, gloomy weather. But I committed to going to yoga Monday and Friday mornings. So I had one of those moments this morning where I had to kick my own butt, remind myself that I committed remind myself that I really don't have any valid excuses to not go and my self-discipline kicked in and I got in there and I feel so much better. I actually have a podcast episode, a few podcast episodes about motivation. I also have another one about atomic habits and those are both about habit building and self-discipline. And if you haven't listened to the podcast or you haven't listened to those episodes, I highly recommend it. You can Google probably just my podcast name, the Yoga Inspired Life Podcast, and then type in motivation if you wanna to listen to that one or Atomic Habits, or I think I also have one on self-discipline as well. So if you've been trying to get back into a healthy routine, those might be good supportive episodes for you. And everything I share in those episodes are essentially what I have been doing the last week and a half or two since I've been home from Europe. Speaking of healthy habits, my journal came that I ordered with you in the last vlog and I have been journaling every day since it arrived and I'm really vibing my journaling practice again. I think it's worth noting when it comes to healthy habits that it's okay for them to ebb and flow. We are humans, it's not about being perfect. It's about doing your best to lean into the practices that make you feel your best as often as possible. And even though healthy habits and a healthy routine is pretty much second nature for me at this point in my life, because I've been incorporating these things in my life for so long, even I go through periods of time where I stray away from practices, they're not really feeling that great and I think that that's okay. I think it's good to take breaks from those things sometimes, even though you don't end up feeling great in the moment because you're not receiving the benefits. When you do get back into your routine, you're just reminded of how powerful and important these habits are and it makes you more excited to do them. And I think it makes the recommitment process that much easier because even like for myself today, I feel so good. And it's because I've been doing the things that make me feel good and I'm like, Right, that is why I do these things, <laughs> you know? This is why I created the Yoga Inspired Life program and teach these routines and rituals and practices because they do make such a massive difference. So I'm happy to say I'm back on track. Last thing before I start journaling is the Yoga Inspired Life program is reopening for quite possibly the last time in 2023. I'm not totally sure, but I'm feeling like I might take some time off around the holidays. So if you are interested to learn more about the Yoga Inspired Life program, I've left a link down in the description box for the program page where you can learn more about what the program is. And from there you can add yourself to the wait list. And then I send out an email to the wait list with next steps to join and pricing information and all of that good stuff. I'm thinking as of now, the next cycle will begin on September 18th. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. I do have some work that I need to get done today, but first and foremost, 
I want to get my journaling practice in. My little lighter is dead. I need to order a new one. So it matches, it is. I always love to set the vibe for my journaling practice so I can really get into it. If you're wondering, I ordered this journal off of, I'm gonna put the name of the company here, <laughs> but I am coming out with guided journals soon. So be on the lookout for that. yet to schedule a lesson or plan a tennis date but hopefully now that I have my tennis racket I will get the ball rolling on that very excited to have a hobby outside of work that I can do getting ready because I am heading to dinner with one of my very dear friends, Julia, who I have not seen. When was the last time I saw her? Was it really when my mom was here? That's crazy. Our schedules have just not been matching up. I've been traveling and then she was traveling and then I was traveling again and then she was traveling again. And I think she was sick before my last trip. But anyway, we're getting to see each other tonight. And I'm very excited about that. We are going to dinner at this little vegan Mexican restaurant in I think the East Village or is it in the Lower East Side? Somewhere around there. I'm just so excited to see her because I really miss her. I've not been putting any heat on my hair, but I thought I would throw a couple waves in it because kind of got crunched up from my bun. <laughs> also, it is really starting to feel like transition weather here. It's not gonna be that cold tonight, but cool enough for me to wear a long sleeve. Mm, almost fall, I can't believe it. Summer has gone by so quickly. Hope we get a few more nice warm summer days before fall comes. Although I love fall in New York City. It's so pretty here. I love all the seasons here, to be honest with you. One last email and then we're gonna go. <laughs> Oh. Okay, we're going. I have to just force myself to shut the computer off. Because if I don't leave, the work never stops. I can just continue answering emails and doing things. <laughs> I thought that it was chilly out and it's definitely not. I am sweating, but luckily Julia said that she is also sweating and she agreed with me. It was chilly and rainy all day today and we're both overdressed. So I'll be walking to dinner with my arms up. I'm not even a big sweater either. This is terrible. For once, I'm actually hoping that it cools down a little bit. Otherwise, I'm gonna be miserable. <laughs> it's our one year friend anniversary. <laughs> Going around the corner to the same bar. I know, bar we're going to the same bar that we went to our first bread date on. Cheers. Love it, love you. Truly. Mmm. Their cocktails here are so good. Off to the dive. The dive. Our first date spot. Our first date spot. We're really doing our one year friend anniversary <laughs> right tonight. Guys, I don't mean to like bring up my boyfriend. <laughs> But he made us a reservation and had sparkling Prosecco waiting for us. It's amazing. The best. Best boyfriend ever. Maybe he'll join us. Look who arrived. The man of the hour. Cheers, babe. Now, I'm not sure how successful we're gonna be because getting a court in New York City is extremely difficult. It's actually insane. But I think my boyfriend and I are gonna go try and play tennis 
I need a lesson. Hopefully he'll give me some pointers. I was thinking I would book a lesson with a professional, but I don't know, maybe I might not need that. And my boyfriend's pretty patient with me. So I feel like I could learn from him. And I'm very excited at the possibility of finally using my new racket. I feel like it's time. Anyway, that's the lay of the land for today. Happy Saturday. Let's get the day going. That was so fun, as I thought. He's a very good coach. Am I terrible? He thinks I'm bad. <laughs> but I feel like I got better the longer I played and now I have some things to practice. That was so much fun today. I will be honest with you and say that I need a lot of practice before I am decent at playing tennis, but I had the best time and my boyfriend actually is a great coach as I thought he would be. I really, really, really enjoyed that and I'm excited to keep practicing so that I can get better. And I'm just like excited to have a new hobby outside of my work because basically my hobbies are now my work, which is amazing. But I think it'll be good for me to have something outside of that that I can do. And I actually found it to be quite meditative too because I wasn't really able to think about anything else except what I was doing. Good little mindfulness practice too. Anyway, I came home, had a good long chat with my mom, showered, made a little salad with some tomatoes, cucumbers, avocado, honey Dijon dressing, air fried chickpeas, maybe spring mix, and some orange bell pepper. And now I'm just getting ready because I'm about to meet up with my boyfriend and we are going to a birthday party of my boyfriend's friend's girlfriend. <laughs> She's really nice. Her name is Sydney and I thought that was so nice that she invited me. So we're gonna go together to that, which should be fun. I don't know how much I'm actually gonna vlog just because these are new friends and I don't wanna be the weird girl with the vlogging camera that's like, hey, I film everything and put it on YouTube. That might be weird. So we'll see. I can't even hold my phone still because my wrist is so sore from playing tennis today. <laughs> anyway, off we go. Gotta stay hydrated. It's 85 out. walking to the train, but he found this little plant shop that he's into. <laughs> I've got the birthday girl some flowers because you can't go to a birthday empty handed. Or I guess it's afternoon now because it's like 12 something. Last night was really fun. The sun is out. It's a gorgeous day. And I'm really excited because my boyfriend and I are going on a little adventure today to Governor's Island. I don't know why, but I was really feeling red today. So I'm wearing this little dress that I got from Revolve. It's linked below as well as on my Revolve favorites page. Got a little frozen marg. We're gonna sit by the water. We're walking around, it's a lovely day, but we're both just wondering like what we're supposed to do here. <laughs> like what's going on? We don't know. Um, not, not really sure. 
very pretty. There's just not a whole lot happening here, as you can see. <laughs> it's giving jail, these vibes. <laughs> prison energy, big prison energy. If you're not keeping your sheet masks in the fridge, you are missing out. I'm telling you, that feels amazing. Governor's Island today was so much fun. We had the most beautiful, perfect weather, walked around the island completely, and it was just such a fun day. And it was honestly so relaxing. I don't know, the energy there was like very chill. It was honestly just like a perfect day. Had such a good weekend. I feel like it was full and fun, well-rounded and balanced, and I'm just feeling very grateful and happy this evening. And I'm taking the chill vibes that I got from Governor's Island into my Sunday night with a little self-care. I'm also not gonna lie, I did order Postmates. I really wanted some vegan ramen because I just feel like being a lazy girl tonight. I don't have any groceries. I was way too tired to go grocery shopping. So definitely ordered some vegan ramen. Honestly, I think I just scared the out of my Postmates delivery person. <laughs> because I answered the door like this. I'm like, hi, he's like, oh my gosh. He like jumped back, he was really scared. Oh well. Yes, so happy about this. Just got a vegan spicy ramen and added some steamed broccoli to it. This is exactly what I wanted, I'm so happy. Also gonna do a little prebiotic soda, root beer by Poppy. I love this flavor. All right, that is, that's it for today. I have nothing left to give. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I am going to end the vlog here, but thank you so much for hanging out with me this weekend. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new and I will see you in my next video.